Good morning. Uh, so in my last uh, video, I noticed when I was doing this search and paste window is that um, the order of the snippets isn't been updated to reflect which ones we've used uh, most recently. Um, I keep forgetting I need to do that. So let's do that. Um, and make it usable. So uh, what am I talking about then? Um, it's probably best that I do it here because I've got a problem using it in Wells Dev. So if I go to here and I make, that should be to make cream. Make. If I run in search and paste mode, you get all the snippets, but you can see that they're still in alphabetical order. So if I were to come down and say use a dep, um, let's take that off there. So you can see, um, and I actually use this. You see it pace at the bottom, always developing 220705. If I then bring the same window up again, so think about you being done with the hotkey, I would expect ADEP to be at the top because it was the last one used. Um, and then the previously used one should be number two and then third one in the past and so on. So basically when you're in this mode, search and paste mode, I don't want it alphabetical. I want it to be last used and then alphabetical. Um, and at the moment we're not getting that at all. And I think that's because I'm not setting the last used date at all, which is a bug. Well, a feature not implemented yet. So, um, got to do that. So that's actually in the daemon. I can't remember where in the daemon. It's been a while. Uh, if we go... Right, if we start off in the debus side of things, Paste snippet. There we go. So this is the um, the debus handler. This is get this is where we get the message from the GUI uh, to the daemon, and it goes, "Hey, can you um, paste this snippet with this abbreviation um, and uh, wait, however many milliseconds uh, before you paste it." And then uh, comes along and says, all right, so we grab the snippet and get its body in an expanded method uh, mode. Um, and then we write it to the clipboard um, and then simply just wait. Uh, we're basically in a, um, in a thread. Um, we wait for however many long if it's if it's got a delay, um, and then we use X do tool at the moment um, to do a control V of whatever's in there. And if you happen to have shift held at the same time, um, then also you get a control shift V, which is how you get to paste into a terminal. Um, and thanks to tools working okay. Um, I do need to do something for when we're running under Wayland though, because I don't think X2 tool works. Um, but that's another thing to be tested. For today, uh, what I need to happen is at some point here, from here, we need to update the last. last used date. 
So we could either do in here, or potentially in the expanded. which would be handy because we could use that in the CLI as well. So we've got an expand abbreviation there, but that doesn't put it into that doesn't put it into the paste board. And I maybe shouldn't do that. Because that could be handy when you're scripting. Let me think about that. So um, let's go over here. So let's just do a quick make clean because it's been a while in here. And then if I do, this is the CLI. So I've got an expand. don't think I have. Yeah, just the abbreviation, you can just be more specific about it. Well, what we could do is add a copy to that and then in which case it would you it would update the last used by default and then you could say like no update last used or something like that Hmm. The alternative, of course, is simply to have a copy command. Which basically doesn't expand with nothing to standard error. That's the way standard out. Just puts it into... Um, Yeah. That might be handy.
Yeah, okay. Well, I think that's what we'll do. So first off, I want to do the GUI side of things. Um, and then I'll come back and I'll add a copy to the CLI. And that way I don't, don't muck about with the expand. It is just an expand. You get what you expand. Um, and then copy will update last used. Yeah, because you could then have a paste argument to that that says, like, okay, copy and paste, which possibly doesn't make a lot of sense, but if it's got a, um, a delay on it. Could be useful. You could think of um, another tool, just calling that command, and then closing its window and letting the paste happen. Hmm. That makes me think maybe I should change the name on the daemon. because it's definitely doing a copy. Hmm, actually, that could just be a shortcut for copy and paste. We could have a separate copy, which basically does this bit. And then paste says, OK, once I've done that bit, do this. And it'll be the copy that updates the last used. Yeah, OK, I think I'm going to do that. So I am going to add Need to check something here. In the packages, the dbus service, I'm doing paste snippet as a requirement. It doesn't matter. CLI doesn't have to use it. That's okay, because I did extract it. That's fine. Okay. 
All right, so what I'm going to do now is effectively duplicate this. Take out the paste. Change this to copy. And we don't have a delay, but I do think I need the ability to say don't update last used. So I'm going to be a bit premature in my optimization here, but I'm going to say um, Update last used bill hmm. I actually want it to be true by default, but I guess I can't really do that with a bill. So I could do the opposite there. We'll call it skip last used. So, okay, so first thing we do is make sure we have the abbreviation, uh, get an expanded version. Um, stick it in the clipboard. Make sure that works. Is there any return on that? No. Okay. And then if not skip last used. Then we get kind of stuck. Because we haven't got any function for that yet. Hmm. Kind of want just a quickie. Don't really want to have to do the whole get the snippet and then update it.
Mm, okay, so let's do. Um, that's a bit of a pain, actually. That's lowercase. Does that mean it's not been used? Interesting. Hmm, okay. I think what I'll be doing then Yeah, I could do that. We do have all the tools. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to use what we've already got because there's no reason. To use it outside. So what I'm going to do is copy ask the daemon to copy uh, expanded snippet into the Paste board. I do. So we basically need the expanded no matter what. And then if we're in here, we can do the snippet is equal to a snippets get snippet with abbreviation because that's all we've got potentially an error And then so that's a proper snippet. So we don't need to muck about with um, converting dates and things. We're good there. So we should be able to then do um, the snippet last used 
is equal to time now because that is is time Definitely want to UTC. Keep it consistent. And then we simply update it, he says. So I guess that's her is equal to snippets. Update snippet. with ID and a snippet ID and a snippet what's that returning then? oh, I need a transaction, of course I do uh, let's steal some transaction stuff Oh, I don't need to. I can just call this. Oh, no, it's a DBoss service snippet. Dump. Yeah, I don't want that. Uh, do this. And then that. Just copy and paste in today. Okay. And then I need to give that the transaction. Okay, so to review, copy snippet. Get the expanded body, make sure it's okay. If it is, initialize the clipboard, make sure that's okay. Write to the clipboard. If we're not skipping last used, then we need to get the whole snippet. Um, make sure that doesn't have problems and then update the last used to now. Start a transaction. We're gonna roll back if there's any issues. Update the snippet for, the, for that transaction with the ID and the snippet we've just updated. If we have any errors, return the error which will roll back, commit, if that doesn't work, return the error, which in theory rolls back, and all, if all is okay, then we have no error, and we return nil. 
in the paste snippet, we basically need to do Shifts easier to clean out this. Uh, equals copy snippet pass an abbreviation um, and that would be false because in this scenario we're not allowing you to change that. Oh, we don't need to write to the clipboard, we've done that. If uh, it's not equal to a nil, just return it. Because it should be a debus error in that scenario. Um, now we're going to need to, oops, to, to rescope that. It's not nice, really, is it? Let's let's change that. So we know what we've got. And then we've got a clean error there, just so we're not hiding things. Um, okay, so we should do the copy um, and update last used. We then potentially delay a little while before we actually do the paste. And then we need, this is to set up the interface so that something knows how to call these things.
it's a bit more specific here to copy and paste just in case people get the wrong idea that they need to do the copy first. Should do that. Um, and now I presume that's failing. Hmm. Okay, hopefully I'll sort itself out in a minute. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Because I had debus error in there. Okay. Right, so that's that, and then. We need to implement it. And that's what we need to do. Don't want you up there, though. Okay, now I basically need to do that. Sort of. So we're going to do a copy snippet. So this is the um, sort of the client side things. So both the CLI and the GUI uh, import this service pack uh, package, um, which basically allows it them to just call copy snippet um, and it will do the debus messaging to the daemon in the background. Sort of. And then we should get when we do that, should in theory potentially get an error or nil, which is fine. So I'm, in, I'm not actually going to be using that just now. That's for another day. But I have to implement it because I've added it to the interface. I could have delayed doing that, but I didn't. And then this is what we actually are using in the paste. Um, and then on my next next bit of work I'll update the CLI to make sure that's all working and I'll add a copy 
CLI command. But in the moment, I just need to use this paste snippet OK, which we're already using in the GUI. So, a couple of things to do here then. Um, Kill that daemon. Let's go back a couple here to make clean and a make. Now that in theory did it all work. Uh, the CLI didn't have any issues. The daemon didn't have any issues. And the GUI didn't have any issues. So we can bring up the daemon again. And then in here, should be able to run search and paste. If I go into the right place, um, and if I shift click on this so that I don't muck up the data and the CLI terminal, so that has now pasted OK. It's used it and expanded it. If I run that again, always dep, a dep is at the top, as it should be. So if I look for SP, and then I shift enter, it did the job. If I next time I run search and paste, it's at the top. And so you can see over time, all the good ones are at the Thing is, so if I want to now, I've focused the list and I just hit two, this is going to be a bit messy because I'm in a terminal, um, so it won't paste properly and I can't do shift two. Um, but if I do two, it should have done a dep. And I can test that by doing shift control B here. And there it is, yeah. So it did work. That's cool. So we've got that working. Now, the one thing to test, we haven't mucked up the normal list, have we? No, so that's still alphabetical. That is still as it should be there. Which is good. Good stuff, and that's perfect timing for finishing up for the day as well. So I can commit that. Oh, before I do, let's quickly make sure the tests run here. I haven't done that in a while. Good. Okay, then. Let's commit.
So that's good. So um, next time I need to have a look at the CLI, just make sure that's up to scratch and maybe implement that copy um, command. And then it's just things like check in everything kind of works particularly on Wayland because I'm not using that here and um, so I might need to use a different tool for the copy um, and then potentially looking at the settings again to see if I should implement some of these settings that I have in their main in the old version so I'm gonna have to do all the startup stuff and whatnot when we've got the uh, packaging done um, but in theory we should be able to update a shortcut and things as well um, you can see that's not working here um, because I'm not using GNOME and stuff and like, that's what I need to change um, and then we've got oh we have got a set in here focus search box so when I do the search and paste um, by default it is focusing the search box when it comes up sometimes you don't want that sometimes you just want to be in the list first because you're generally using something you've just recently used so some people prefer that um, in which case uh, that, that should be a fairly simple thing to do um, we could add that to the settings page and um, the shortcut that's a whole different kettle of fish um, and the selected text so I tend to not use it you can see it's turned off um, by default um, but if you have some text selected in a document or something like a uh, LibreOffice writer document and then you hit the shortcut key um, to do a search and paste um, it should pre-populate the search box with that uh, but that's tricky um, when you're not using um, all the GNOME stuff anymore, which I'm not. So that might be going away. And then, of course, we've got the auto expanding thing, which just isn't working at the moment. Again, because I'm not using GNOME libraries anymore. Um, and the debuff side of things seems to be temperamental. So we'll have to see about that. Um, oh, and I haven't got an app out box, but whether I want one of them or not, don't know. Maybe. So yeah, we've got just a few bits and bobs to do. Um, it's going to be kind of polish and uh, getting things up and running and then uh, doing things like the manual and I need to refresh the website so we've still got plenty to do but we're getting close it's kind of getting to the point where it's almost usable now and once I get the shortcut key working um, which I could use now already here in my setup because I don't use the built-in one and I might leave that out of the settings anyway yeah I could start using it very, very soon, full time, but we'll see. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, take care.